I started playing chess when I was five years old. Uh, so um, I was born uh, in Kutaisi in Georgia. This is the city of um, world chess legend, Maya Chiburdanidze. So um, in that time, chess was very popular in Georgia because of our legendary chess players, five-time world champion Nona Gaprindashvili and Maya Chiburdanidze. And um, my father wanted very much uh, me to play chess and become world champion among women. So um, my name, Nana, uh, he um, gave me after Nana Alexandria, our famous Georgian chess player. So yeah, so I was uh, five when I started play chess and actually the successes came to me pretty uh, quickly, I was uh, uh, nine years old when first I became European champion under 10 age group. Uh, so yeah, after that, I mean, <laughs> I became uh, four times uh, world champion under um, uh, 12, under 16, under 18 and under 20 and so on. Yeah. <laughs> In the beginning, when I started play chess, uh, it was like um, when I was winning, uh, winning the game. My parents was very happy, so I loved uh, the fact that my father enjoyed very much when I uh, I get uh, some medals or uh, uh, I gain some titles. So I think this was. Uh, uh, most important for me in the, I mean, in the beginning when I was a kid, but uh, later uh, uh, I really I mean I enjoy when I uh, create harmony or the board. So I think yeah, that's uh, that's the main point for me in chess. Any conflicts between playing chess and uh, my schools, uh, I think um, uh, they helped me a lot in school. I mean, because uh, uh, every time I was on a tournament or uh, I, w I had uh, some uh, training camps with my coach, uh, so uh, they helped me. And um, when I when I was successful, let's say when I went back home, uh, my school celebrated it. <laughs> and my classmates and uh, yeah, it was a big celebration in this school um, and uh, yeah after a semester I could go and give some exams so it was like that first time when I went abroad it was uh, when I was uh, eight years old um, I went to France I played uh, European championship under 10 girls and uh, first time uh, I was with my mom. After that, uh, all the time I traveled alone by myself to the tournaments. So yeah, actually, uh, I I remember the girls Elizabeth Betts and Marisa Buck. We used to play, I mean, all our life together in uh, this um, age groups tournament, world championship and the European championship. So yeah, it was Verdun, and uh, first. Uh, experience it wasn't that successful um, I even don't remember which place I took there but uh, the next year next year already it was successful for me I mean the abroad uh, tournament my style I think it's uh, more strategic strategical and uh, I love to improve uh, my position little by little and uh, um, I love to create uh, harmony between pieces and uh, on the board. So I'm, uh, I'm a bit, uh, I think, uh, uh, more strategic. My hobbies are uh, part of chess. Uh, it's like um, I have two kids, so mostly I spend my free time with the kids. And uh, if they are in school, in the schools, and uh, I have free time, I love to read books and uh, sometimes go out with the family, um, with the friends. So yeah, it's more or less it's, uh, 
my everyday life like this. My first uh, most important success, it was when I was nine years old and uh, I became European champion under 10. Uh, it happened in Estonia, in Tallinn. It was um, 1997. 1997. Uh, and actually, me and Anna Muzichuk, <laughs> we played together there. And she was seven years old, uh, and I was uh, 10 years old, I think, 10 years old. And uh, uh, the, the, uh, the main battle, it was uh, between us, me and Anna, we were leading. And uh, our, it was a uh, match uh, between us, this uh, the decisive match, and uh, I managed to win. <laughs> and uh, I became European champion, and uh, she was second. When I play with my uh, friends uh, psychologically, I don't think it's uh, difficult for me because uh, when I play chess and when I when I'm sitting at the board, I mean, I'm all in chess, so I don't think um, I'm playing with, uh, with my friends or with someone else. So it's, it's not so big deal for me. I mean, I'm concentrated only on chess. Uh, so, uh, yeah, after the game finished, of course, <laughs> we are still friends. Yeah. Um, my future goals. Uh, I mean, nowadays it's really not easy to plan something ahead because of this pandemic situation in the world. Uh, but um, my, um, my nearest uh, uh, plan, um, uh, it's, it's going to be World Women um, uh, Club, uh, sorry, World Women uh, Cup, World Women Cup uh, in uh, Sochi. So in July, um, I'm planning to uh, play there. So it, it is. It, it will be. I mean, most important tournament for me, I think. And uh, after after Grand Prix, I will start to prepare for that tournament. Uh, I mean, after that tournament, I don't know yet what is gonna be. I mean. I, I don't have any plans yet. I mean, it's not clear, the tournament. I mean, it's not published on FIDES, so I don't know. I played many times in Gibraltar, yes, and uh, this is my one of the favorite place uh, to play chess. I really do love Gibraltar, and um, uh, it's really... Here... Um, uh, only you, you should do, you just have to enjoy playing chess and uh, atmosphere and everything here supports you to play as good as uh, as possible and uh, um, I think what Brian O'Brien and uh, Stuart uh, are doing here is great for chess and I hope to continue in the future because already I think I played uh, nine or ten times here in Gibraltar. So, um, yeah, it's really a spe special place for me. Uh, to imagine my life uh, without chess at all, um, I think uh, it's, it's difficult to imagine uh, because uh, from very early age, I mean, I mean into chess, so it's it's really difficult. But uh, uh, during this pandemic, actually, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was uh, for 14 months out of uh, chess and tournaments. So um, I was still trying to um, stay in shape, and uh, maybe not every day, but uh, three four times a week, I tried to. Uh, to ha had meetings with my coach and to practicing and everything so it's really difficult for me to be uh, I mean out of chess and uh, yeah I love chess and uh, in the near, near, near future I mean I, I don't want to imagine me without chess chess is for me it's 
lifestyle. <laughs> Easy, busy. <laughs> I mean, it's life. <laughs>